What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE. Here comes The Fiend. It's Judgment Day in Nashville, Tennessee, and Goldust wants that pie. How will The Fiend stop him from getting that pie at Judgment Day on a fine Friday, 2003? Him. I can't believe I'm actually going to have a match with Goldust. Will you come and save me if things get a little bit too rough? Just make sure he does not take advantage of me. I'm going to play the match. Is that like playing the game? What? But also, backstage is nobody. Goldust versus Tori with The Fiend. Attack Slug Brock Lesnar and Batista versus The Rock. I can play this match or I can skip this match. So I guess we're going to play the match. That makes the most sense as The Fiend. I suppose, but can Tori be Goldust is the question, I guess. I do welcome you to a Friday here on the program, Tori with The Fiend. And we have some things to discuss today in the world of wrestling. I also forgot a couple days ago, rest in peace to Tracy Smothers, 58, way too young. So... We have the third party deadline. It's the end of the month. It's been four weeks, and that was the imposed third party Twitch, Cameo, etc. deadline. We're there. This is the reckoning. And I don't mean Mia Yim, but actually I do mean Mia Yim, because her Twitch is now shut down. Or I guess everyone's saying that, that they're on pause. Not, not shut down. But on pause, AJ Styles, Mia Yim, Cesaro, Aleister Black, and Zelina, even the hugely successful Austin Creed on Twitch, on pause. So, yes, that's where we're at. Now, Paige is like, no, 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 no. My neck got damaged twice. I can't wrestle. I'm not losing my Twitch as well. I want to start a union. Like, that, with most companies that don't have unions is the fastest way to get fired because they don't want that union talk if they don't already have one because that's a whole different can of worms, if you will. So as of right now, Paige says, no, I'm not leaving. I'm not stopping Twitch from my cold, dead hands type business there with Paige. No, Goldust, you need to not be fighting Tori here. And apparently, I'm not getting disqualified, just having to leave over and over again. So can we make Tori win this match is the question. Yowie. Wowie. So yeah, we'll see if Paige is going to be still on Twitch, like, next week. And whatnot. And how that turns out for her. Because she's certainly been the most vocal on how it's going to go with that whole thing. And the Fiend attacked the wrong guy. Not referee. I'm sorry, I meant to go uh, get up. Come on now, No! No, get out of here. Gold dust, come here. Come here. There we go. Haha. -ha. Tori is now, yep, learning how good the fiend can be for her in ring career. If I can. Whoa. Nice clothesline there. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, you. I'm a distraction. Stop getting distracted. Choke him out. Choke him out. So, elsewhere, we had a WWE earnings call for this quarter, and that unveiled some things. Notably that Netflix and WWE are working on a documentary on Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Which, again, it's not really what you want. You want an unbiased look. You want something, you know, that's going to be a actual unflinching look at the man himself. And if WWE's involved, it's going to be a puff piece. It's, it's going to be just, you know, not what you want for that kind of thing. For a look at Vincent Kennedy McMahon who is certainly one of the most interesting folks in the world, but you are not going to get an honest look if WWE is involved in that whole thing. Also, speaking of not being honest, or I guess not doing things the way that you want them to be done, uh, they claim that they're going to have better writing on their shows. And they've certainly claimed that before, and it hasn't ever really manifested, or perhaps it has, but we'll never know, right? Because you can have the best writers in the world for WWE, from the best places in the world, but when one old man, being Vince, uh, changes things at day of the show, then how can you ever have a good show? Like, if you have all this good writing, and then he has it rewritten day of Raw, 
like, then you're never gonna have that show be good because you won't, don't ever give it a chance to be good because Vince just changes his mind on a whim constantly, consistently, uh, for the last, you know, 30 or 40 years. So, oh, he, nice DDT, just planted him, absolutely planted him, and the rep here does not care about, about my constant interference. Just does not care about the Fiend constantly, constantly getting on Goldust's thing here. But can I get Tori to finish? Probably not. Probably not. Haha! -ha! There! We made him yellow in the Chestal region. So, that was kind of the big two takeaways from that earnings call. Was the whole thing with the biopic on Netflix. Which apparently very bi big budget for that kind of thing. Uh, but also the, hey, we're going to have better writing. I'm like, I've heard this before, multiple times in my life, and it hasn't really ever manifested because of what they tend to do with Vince and how he tends to run things. So, perhaps when he's not running things anymore, which might still take a while, because, you know, he's not giving it up, because that's what Vince do. Yeah, here we go. The Fiend is going to help you. The Fiend is going to help you for about four seconds and then get tossed out here. Slap! What did the five fingers say to the face, Goldust? Slap! You go, Tori. You go. You get him. Now, elsewhere, we have the fact that WWE continually and consistently does not like their superstars having a full name. And the latest in this trend, the latest to lose their name, their full name, is Matt Riddle, who is now just Riddle. So... Once upon a time, we had Antonio Cesaro, and Alexander Rusev, and Buddy Murphy, and Big E Langston. But they just don't like people having multiple names for whatever reason. Look, not everybody can be Cher, or Madonna, or Prince. Like, let folks have more than one name. If Stone Cold Steve Austin was just Steve, or just, you know, like, break it up. Aha. If Stone Cold Steve Austin was just Steve, or just Austin, like, sure, you could do that, but when you have Howard Finkel announcing you as Stone Cold Steve Austin, that's so much better. So much better than just, it's Steve, right? Like, come on. So, personally, I want more names. I want more nicknames. Give them a full name and a nickname. Just do, oh, no, the SmackDown move. The final cut. The final cut. Get in there, Fiendy. Break it up! Break it up! Break it up! Break it up, Goldust! Break it up! The Fiend interferes! And saves Tori from losing this match. I, I don't know how you win this or have her win this because Goldust is still Goldust, man. Like, it's... Get in there! It's not gonna work. No! At the last possible second. Oh, I kicked Tori there. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, Tori! I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. The Fiend has finish. If I can get my finish on Goldust, then maybe she'll win. Just maybe. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Goldust. Refer. There. There. Man of a claw. Man of a claw. Man of a claw. Yowie. Wowie. Take him out, Tori. Take him out. Please, make it happen. Just, you're so close, Tori. You're so close. There, yes, roll him up. Into the Boston Crab. It's a rope break. That's a rope break. Man, she's so close. Drop kick. Tori dominating at this point in the match due to the help of The Fiend. One, two. Oh my God, a one count. We are so far from where we need to be here with this. It's gonna be a problem. I'm helping all I can here. Referee, count it! One, two, three! So close, yet so, so far away. No, Goldust, break it up! Break it up! Referee, no! Goldust gonna fly, going to the top! Woo! And Tori, thankfully, rolled out of the way. So, also, with Matt Riddle, Boom. Back to that, he still has a CFO theme 
which they've been getting rid of and clearing out uh, in 2020 because of their whole legal record label garbage, right? So how much longer will Riddle keep his theme uh, is the question because it's going to go at some point, which is a shame because it's a really good theme that fits him really well. Like how much longer will Robert Roode keep his glorious theme, right? Because at some point, at some point, he's going to lose it. Because it's a CFO theme. And go... I want it... No! Referee, no! Let me in! Let me in! Oh, no, yeah, that's not gonna work! That's not gonna work! That's not gonna... What? Cold Tusk. Hey! 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 No! Don't you dare! Thank God. Thank God. Thank... Grapple Gold Dust. Power Slam. Picture perfect Power Slam from gold dust is that enough oh god it's so hard why is this so hard dropping him choking him out you go tori you get him you get him referees tossing me out how i've not been just tossed out of here at this point i have no idea so elsewhere in the ratings war of a wednesday night nxt won the ratings i was shook by that but when you think about it, it makes sense. AEW was a pre-tape, right? So when you say a pre-tape versus Halloween Havoc, that's going to be a point in the favor of Halloween Havoc. So kudos on that and them doing their thing. Tori, hit your finish, please. Yes, DDT. This should be it. Goldust should be done. Pin him, pin him, pin him. Three. And Tori beats Goldust with a heaping helping of help from The Fiend. Let the pie commence. Tori has done it all, folks. I can't believe this actually happened. Him has joined her in the ring as well. That's funny. What's going on here? Kiss her. Kiss her. Kiss the mask. Kiss the mask. Oh, look, JR. Him is sharing a passionate kiss with her. Tori is certainly surprised as well. He's like, hurt, heal, hurt, heal. They gotta get out of the ring in a heck of a hurry there. This was supposed to be a beardness relationship. Tori is following after him. This isn't fair, JR. The two of them are gazing at each other. Tori, stay away. It seems like Tori is taking the lead now. I can't believe this is happening. My worst nightmare. Tori was just as happy. Look at their faces. Now there goes one of my pleasures at work. King, just congratulate them for a change. Nope. Then I guess I'll have to congratulate them on King's behalf as well. Congratulations, him and Tori. Now then, elsewhere on this Judgment Day, ya boy takes on the Beast for that WWE Championship and... No! Brock beat me up as should happen. Now, world heavyweight title. We have Batista and Rock. And Batista retains that championship. He walks alone in the pit of danger. I get no points for that. A whole episode of effort and no points for that. So, okay. Okay. Saving the game. So I will say enjoy your Friday. Get some pie day. But also, Walter, no longer doing WXW and Ring Kampf, the things that were keeping him in Europe. So Walter to NXT proper soon. Walter to main roster. I don't know. Could happen. We'll see. But I'm a tax slug. I'll see you next time. More videos tomorrow. Perplexing pixels. It will be G.I. Joe, Operation Blackout, and then additional things happening this weekend. And back here for more Here Comes the Fiend on Monday. Tune in for that. More videos. Still doing them. You can't stop me. I'll see you next time. And I'm out.